What are proteasome inhibitors? The proteasome inhibitors uh, essentially target the proteasome. Uh, and the proteasome has several components to it. Uh, it's, uh, the proteasome is the machinery that the body uses to recycle its proteins uh, to make other proteins. Uh, and so one can uh, imagine that um, if you have too much milk in your refrigerator, that uh, if you could make that milk into uh, eggs, then you would break down the milk and turn it into eggs. And so your cells do that all the time with their proteins uh, by using this proteasome. Myeloma cells uh, are so geared towards making this monoclonal protein that in the absence of a proteasome, they really uh, are unable to survive. Several uh, drugs are available to uh, target the proteasome. Uh, Bortezomib was the first, or Velcade was the first one that was uh, developed. Uh, and it's a reversible binder of the proteasome, effective on its own, as well as in combination with steroids and other uh, chemotherapeutic drugs and uh, immunomodulatory drugs. Uh, it can, its main uh, downside is uh, neuropathy, which in many cases is not fully reversible. Uh, but does improve over time. I think about half of the patients we treat develop some uh, modicum of uh, neuropathy. Carfilzomib is a newer generation proteasome inhibitor. Inhibitor. It's an irreversible inhibitor. It's effective in individuals who have received prior uh, bortezomib and even who are resistant to bortezomib. Carfilzomib is administered as an intravenous drug um, on two consecutive days. Uh, bortezomib is typically administered as a subcutaneous injection. Uh, so all of these require visits to the clinic, uh, which for some of our patients may be a challenge. Uh, so oral proteasome inhibitors are advantageous uh, from a, a, a patient convenience perspective. Exasimib is an oral proteasome inhibitor in the bortezomib family and has efficacy as well, both alone with steroids or in combination with immunomodulatory drugs.